Mercury. When Mercury is in different houses from Moon. When the Mercury is with Moon, see Mercury with Moon, Mercury aspecting the Moon is not a very good combination for mental health. So such people is such people are easily overwhelmed. They are emotional, indecisive. Both Mercury with Moon, Mercury aspecting Moon in both the cases, and generally. The person is forgetful, does not keep his words, and because people have expectations from him, but he is forgetful and you know because he is lazy and all sort of things. So you know, kind of like people around him put mental pressure on him because of which he does not feel good. He feel bad, overburdened, and all sort of things. Owing to this, there can be feeling of depression and other mental troubles in both the cases. Mercury with Moon. Mercury aspecting moon that is Mercury in seventh two. Apart from that, Mercury with moon, the native will have accomplishment in all of his undertakings. But by nature and behavior, will be a bad person. Will be beautiful. Will be happy, but will not be true to his words. Will not keep his words. He will be inimical to others, but will be affectionate towards his family. When Mercury goes to second house from moon, it will make sunva yoga and it will give wealth and resources. From the things indicated by Mercury, so person will get wealth and resources through banking, investment, teaching, learning, education, writing, communications, etc. Native will come from a very rich family. Native himself will be a very rich person. He will be well mannered. He will have a healthy, disease-free life. He will have much health. He will eat good food. He will enjoy good food. He will have happiness from family and other kinsmen, other family members from extended family also, and. Cold related diseases, cough related diseases will generally trouble him. Mercury in third house from moon, it will be a benefic in Upchaya from moon, will make a good wealth combination. So native will be wealthy, native will be respected by powerful people, native will always be rich, will never see penury or loss of wealth. Loss of wealth he can see, penury he will not see in his life. Kingly people, powerful people will be associated with him. Money lenders will be associated with him. He himself can be someone who lends money to others. Mercury in fourth house from moon, the native will always remain happy. Will gain from the maternal side of his family. He lives happily and he lives comfortably. Have multiple sources of comforts and enjoyments in his life. Mercury in fifth house from moon, native will be intelligent. Native will be clever. Native will be beautiful. Native will but native will be very sensual. Will be clever in duping people. Native will be knowledgeable, but the native uses bad and foul language. Mercury in sixth house from moon, it makes Adi Yoga, that is the Raj Yoga, will give us a comfortable life and success and happiness in life. Do the native power authority status is there, but the native is miser. Does not want to spend money. Is fearful in fights. Coward, you can say. Native is beautiful looking. He have big eyes, but the native will be ablicious as well. Native will be coward, sacred of controversies. And will have thick hair. Mercury in seventh to moon, apart from the mental troubles that I have talked about in the in, in the starting of the video, it will also make Adi Yoga will give Raj Yoga power, status, riches, comforts to the native. But once again, native will be miser, will be long lived, and will be subjugated by the people of opposite gender. So generally, the person is very libidous towards people of opposite gender. The people of opposite gender realize it, comes in. Comes in contact with him, and you know, misusing this particular thing of you know over attachment or libidusness of the native will overpower him, will subjugate him, and will force him to do things as per his wishes and desires. Right. So when Mercury is in seventh to moon, one have to make sure not to get subjugated by people of opposite gender, particularly spells. Mercury in eighth house from moon, once again, Adi Yoga will be there, riches, comforts, Raj Yoga, power, authority will be there. But apart from that, the native will suffer. From diseases produced by cold and cough, the native will be famous. The native will have patience, and the native will be winner and victorious over his enemies and in competitive examinations. Mercury in ninth house from moon, the native will go against his dharma and will go against people of his dharma as well. He will not take to his responsibilities. He will not fulfill his responsibilities. Rather, will run away from his responsibilities. He will forsake his own religion and will be interested in religion and religious practices of others. He will criticize his own dharma and criticizes those people who follow their dharma. The person will be someone who will discourage others.
from following their dharma and doing good in their own life so generally you should not listen to advice of such person and the native will generally oppose his own people his own family members when mercury is in 10th house from moon once again it will make a wealth combination the native will be wealthy and because mercury is in 10th house from moon and mercury indicates relatives doing business or engaging in a profession with your relatives will be very beneficial apart from that the native will have chest elements but the native will be very prominent successful powerful in his clan and he will enjoy raj yudas mercury in 11th house from moon once again wealth combination it will make the native will be rich and wealthy the native will also have divine sight divine sight will come as a result of spiritual practice so native will be engaged in spiritual practice and divine sight also means that the native is able to see past present and future which does indicate that native is a good astrologer does good in astrology native gets married early in life native gains in all of his undertakings and native will be fortunate after marriage mercury in 12th house from moon this will make anfa yoga the native will come from a rich family native will have many resources but native will suffer bad health and ailments native will always be interested in studying the shastras related to his dharma but loses a lot of things because of his mistakes wrong decisions and not giving not giving importance to appropriate things at appropriate times the native will be miser will not want to spend money and the children of the native particularly can be unsuccessful will struggle in their own lives